Howdy folks, welcome back to another Blender video. This is going to be the basics of edit mode. Okay, so we have this object here, and I want to make a house, and I want to make a house like my daughter draws a house, which, you know, a little, like, cube, and then it would have a little peaked roof. But we don't really know how to make a peaked roof, do we? We don't know how to make triangles in Blender. So I'm going to go ahead and try here. I'm going to try Shift A and I'm going to make another cube here and let's pull it over to the Y here and we can scale it along Z and flatten it out, rotate it along X 45 degrees, Shift D to duplicate it, rotate that one, rotate that one along X 90 degrees and we can move this along Y, so it's like almost lined up. And then we can select both and move it up to the top of the queue. So like, that's one way. It doesn't look great. So we're not gonna do it that way. I'm gonna hit Control N for a new file, don't save. Back to our Blender cube, okay. So let's try another way then. So let's, um, take another cube, so duplicate this cube, rotate that one, 45, rotate that one along X, 45 degrees, and then we'll sort of tuck this up there, and then we can scale this bottom along what there. Is that a nice looking house? No, it's not. Control N, new one here. Okay, so we obviously need to know one more thing in order to actually change the mesh, change the three-dimensional shape uh, in order to suit what we want it to do. And that is called edit mode. Okay, so we're going to go to edit mode. See where it says object mode up here? Well, Blender has a lot of different modes. It's got all these modes up here for animating and shading and doing things like that, but I'm going to use edit mode, which is here, which is a different kind of editor. And if I have something selected, so I need my cube selected, I can go into edit mode and it gives me a whole new set of tools over here. Now edit mode allows you, like I said, to make changes to the actual shape itself. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click away. All right. The only thing that's really different here is that when I select everything by pressing A, I can see there's little points on things. And if I click away, the points stay on there. These are black points. Let's see what happens if I grab a point. Oh, look, I have a point now. You thought I didn't have any point. Now I have a point. Let's use our really basic tools we learned on like day one Blender and press G when we have that point selected, just press G once. Look at that. I can change my mesh. And just like before, I can lock it to one of the axes. And I can drop it somewhere. Okay, so then I can go here and I can make that one like that. And there we go. That's kind of interesting looking shape now. I can do more than just grab points though. If you look over here, there is three different things I can select. So Blender breaks a shape up into three parts. It breaks it up into vertexes, which are points. Vertex, you can see that name right here. It breaks it up into edges. So the lines on a cube or another shape called edges. And then it, the last one is faces. So I can grab these faces here. And you can do, I told you, grabbing. You can also scale a face. Bring it down. Bring this one up. You can see you can break things really easily. You gotta be careful. There we go. It's kind of an interesting shape. All right, that's neat. But what can we do with that? Well, you can do all sorts of things. You can take this face now and you can rotate it. Let's rotate it lock to an axis. There we go. And then we have, I don't know what that is, but it's kind of neat looking. Okay, so your standard G, R, and S are going to work in edit mode as well, depending on what you have selected. Now, if you select a point, or a point select here, 
If you select a point and rotate it, it's not going to do anything because it's just a point, right? If you scale a point, it's not going to do anything either. Same with you try to scale an edge it's going to go crazy because it's not exactly what you want. Most of the time you'll probably be working in face mode, um, but just so you know, you can sit, you can change between them here, or actually you can change be between them by pressing one, two, or three on your keyboard. Okay, not one, two, or three on your keypad. That's different. So it's really important that you use a keyboard with a keypad because we use that keypad all the time for different things. Okay, one, two, or three selects those three modes. You can go back to edit mode, or back to object mode by going up here, or you can just press tab to go between them. All right. If I press shift A now, make another cube, let's move it along the Y axis here. I go here, and I go over to edit mode. I can't make changes on my other object. You can only make changes on one object at a time in edit mode. Okay, these are different objects. Also, very important, you can add objects in edit mode, but don't. Rule number, I don't know, zero of Blender. Don't add objects in edit mode. I can do it. Let's add a cube there. I'll put it over here. Okay, cool. That's good. Now I'm going to go back to object mode. And now I'm going to grab this cube. Oh, these things are linked together now. I try to grab one of them and it doesn't work. If I try to scale one of them, it doesn't work. Uh, so we don't want to do that because it can break Blender really easily. It's even a bigger mess, I'm just control Zing through that thing. It's a bigger mess if you add it while it's still touching another object. Go back to there. It looks kind of neat there, but if you go back to edit mode and you try to like grab something, it can really mess things up. Okay, so don't add objects in edit mode. Only add them in object mode. That's why we call it object mode. All right. Uh, so that's a very basic part of how to use uh, object mode or edit mode. Okay, so you know you can edit different kinds of shapes. Let's just delete that one. I'm in object mode, of course. I'm going to add a um, that cylinder. Okay, going to change the number of vertices on that cylinder so it's easier to use. I'm going to make it an eight cylinder vertice, uh, eight uh, edge uh, cylinder, and I'm going to go to edit mode. And I'm going to click on edge select here, and I'm going to grab that and just sort of change. I've made like a Pac-Man. Okay, so go ahead and play around with some shapes in edit mode and change them up.